Welcome back to another Piware tutorial. Today we're talking Band Director's Guide to Piware. If you've ever received a drill file from a drill designer and you've needed to make a video file out of the, uh, the drill in motion, you know that there's a learning curve to that. We're going to take you through all the steps needed to create a movie of your entire show that you can show your kids. Let's get started. All right, welcome back to the Band Director's Guide to Piware. We are talking about how to animate drill and make a video for your students so that they can watch it in the band room or, or uh, you can put it on a website or something to share them to so that they can uh, watch the drill perfectly in motion. Hopefully your drill designer uh, does this for you, but if they don't and they send you a drill file, you can do this yourself. Now, if you don't know how to animate a drill file, you have to click down here on the speaker and that will play the animation along with the music. If it's not synced, you'll have to do that. Uh, and that is covered in one of my other videos, uh, how to create an AUG file and sync the drill. Hopefully, again, your drill designer does that for you and they're writing uh, with the music playing underneath it. And then you wanna click these arrows here so that the drill plays from beginning to end. So let's see what this looks like. loud. All right, so you can see the performers moving. You can either play it through Pyware for your kids or uh, create a video file. Now Pyware has a, an easy utility here called Create Movie and you can go to a full HD here, Create Movie, and it's going to bring up your browser and ask you to uh, launch a free recorder, and you can do that. Uh, open screen re recorder launcher app. Kind of defaults to a 1080 size, so move your thing to the corner and match up here, and then down here, match it up down there, and you can record it. So you want to again click on the zero, the first page, the uh, speaker, and the arrow button. The only thing else to do is uh, the computer audio here. Uh, now you can click narration and it'll find uh, the built-in input uh, or microphone um, and you can see if it's capturing audio. So while it's playing it will capture the audio in the room uh, unless you update this then it can capture the computer audio uh, from it. So uh, we'll do that built-in microphone okay so when you do this, you'll want to capture this in kind of a quiet area, have your volume turned up so that it captures the, uh, the audio as well. Then you hit record, three, two, one, and then wait for a second, and then hit play. And you can see that it's recording because it's red on the outside. Okay, and I'm gonna stop this for our purposes just because. Now you want to hit pause to stop it. And then down here, I'm going to stop that because it didn't get to the end. Now, if for some reason that was part one and you wanted to record part two as well, you could go and open up your part two and open up part two and it'll bring up the, uh, the file. And then from there, you can do the same thing. Hit the speaker, hit the arrow. I always test it once just to make sure. Uh, the audio plays. So there's the audio playing. Good. And then you can hit record again. Three, two, one, go. And then hit play. Now you'll have a video with both part one and two together in one file. So we'll stop this. Now, when you're done, you can see that there's a cut here where we have the first part and the second part. You click done and then save and upload. You can see your file here and then here you can say save as video file and you can say great halftime show uh, and then you can uh, publish that and it'll publish the video and then you can put that and post that wherever you'd like so that your kids can access it and watch the drill uh, in motion with the music. And I find that it's a good teaching tool. 
put it on the screen at lunch or at dinner break at band camp and just let the kids watch the file and go, oh, that's how it's supposed to look. They'll learn something from it every time. So it's important um, to know how to do that if you don't already get a file uh, along with your drill. I hope this tutorial was a help for you. Please like and subscribe to my page and stay tuned for more Band Director's Guides to Pyware tutorials in the future.